All right, guys, I saw some of the comments, and you guys are really digging it, and I, I think that's awesome. Um, so in this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and play what we're going to learn in this video slow, then we'll break it down, okay? So that's what we're going to learn in this lesson. Um, so, let's get to it. It starts right after the full bend up on the E string 20th fret, and then again back down. Starts right there. You're going to be hitting the 20th fret on the high E string, and you're going to hit the 17th fret on the high E string. Then do that again. So, two times. So, one, two, one, two. Then after that, we're going to hit the 18th fret on the high E string, then back to the uh, 17th fret. So, so far, together. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on the B string. So, remember this part is all alternate, alternate picked. It'll sound better when it's alternate picked, but um, if you can't really do all the alternate picking right now, go ahead and just do the hammer-ons like a... You can go ahead and just do the hammer-ons and it'll be okay. Um, just go ahead and try to work on your picking hand as much as you can because that is actually half the battle in my opinion. Maybe more. Because to make it sound really nice, you need a good, you know, picking hand. And what, what you guys want to do, I saw a lot of people on YouTube, when they strum really fast, they use their entire arm. Um, that's not really, it's not good for your arm and it's probably not good for your wrist because you're basically tensing up so much whenever you're alternate picking, you're using your entire arm and that can actually cause some tennis elbow, if any of you guys know what that is. So you basically just want to use your wrist, don't use your entire arm unless you really, really have to. You want to be relaxed as possible, you don't want to get any kind of injuries from strumming really fast or really hard on the guitar. <laughs> So, um, if you guys are having a problem with that, you know, make it sound cleaner, get that little cloth and wrap it around your neck. Nothing wrong with it. So, after that, um, we're going to go ahead and hit the 18th fret on the B string, then to the 20th, then 17th on the high E. Alright guys, so everything really slow so far, just in case you don't understand what I was saying, is this. That's everything so far, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take our index finger, we're going to go ahead and hit the 17th fret on the high E string, we're going to hammer on to the 18, then pull back down to the 17, and then slide down to the 15. So, after that, we're going to, you know, still holding on to the 15th fret on the E. We're going to hammer on to the 17th fret with whatever finger you want to. Um, I don't know if you'd actually use your pinky, but you know, ring finger, middle finger, whichever one feels more comfortable. And then we're going to pull back down to the 15th fret. So everything, everything from the very beginning so far is this. And then we're going to do the same exact thing as right here, except we're not going to start on the 17, we're going to start on the 18. So you're going to forget about the 17, 18 hammer, we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing, it's just on the B string, starting on the 18. So. That's what we got. To make sure I'm doing it right, let me play really slow the entire thing. Yep, okay. So, same exact thing on the B, just starting on the uh, 18 instead of starting on the 17. Okay, so after that, we're going to slide down to this 13th fret on the B string, and then hammer on to this 15, 
then back down to the 13th. Everything really slow together from the very beginning is this. So guys, this next part coming up here is going to be kind of goofy because we're going to be jumping across strings a lot and hitting different notes. So this is going to be definitely one of the more harder parts of the solo. Um, so I'll break it down and let's go ahead and do it. So while you're hitting the 13th fret on the uh, B string, we're going to hit the 14th fret on the G string with, you know, most, I'd say you're going to be using your middle finger, um, middle finger. Then we're going to go back to the 13th fret on the B string. And then we're going to hit the 15th fret on the G string. And then we're going to hit the 12th fret on the G string. So, so far we got... So it probably doesn't sound very right just from playing that, so... That's what we have so far. And after you're hitting that, uh, well, well, while you're hitting the 12 on the G string, we're going to go ahead and hit the 15th fret on the D string, back to the 12th fret on the G string, then 15 again on the D, to the 12th fret on the D, and then we're going to hit the 14th fret on the D, then half a bend up, then back down, and then a little vibrato, it sounds cool. So everything so far together, really slow, is this. After that, we're going to go ahead and go to the 20th fret on the B string and bend up a full step. And then after that, we're not going to, you know, we're just going to go back to the 20th fret, so no bending there. And hit it three times. So you're going to be like an up, you want to up strum or down strum. But you want to muff in between each one so you cut the sound off and hit it again. It sounds kind of cool. So. Then we're going to hit the 18th fret on the B string, same way, and then we're going to hit the 17th fret, and we're going to hammer onto the 18th fret back to the 17th. And then we're going to hit the 19th on the G, then back to the 17th on the G, uh, B, sorry. And then back to the 19th on the G. So, so far. And then you're going to bend up a full step. Actually, more, it's like one and a half. So, yeah, one and a half full steps. One and a half. One full step and a half. Sorry. So on the last, the second 19 on the G, you're going to bend it up one and a half full steps. I suggest going down bending because it's a lot easier. Sounds really cool. So that's what we'll stop on the second video lesson, and I will have the third lesson up tomorrow or the day.